Hello, my name is Brian Zentz. I'm a senior software engineer with the LTFS LE design team, and I am here today to talk to you about LTFS and more specifically about LTFS Library Edition. So the agenda for what I'm going to go through today is just to give you an introduction to self-describing formats, uh, the benefits of LTFS software and, and Oracle's LTFS software, and then some LTFS use cases. So LTFS is a self-describing storage format, and that provides customers the opportunity to have a lower TCO, uh, simplify their file management, and improve their file access. What is a self-describing format? Well, it's a specification for writing a file and its descriptive metadata to the same storage medium, meaning a tape. Now, there are two uh, relatively common types of self-describing tape formats, TAR and LTFS. Uh, LTFS is supported by the Storage Tech Linear Tape File System, which is what LTFS stands for. Uh, it was introduced in 2010. The standardization is currently in progress. Oracle is the co-chair of the SNEA committee working on that standardization, and it has clustered metadata, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. TAR, on the other hand, has been around for about 30 years. Uh, you know it as part of our SAM QFS software. It does uh, have a standard and is dispersed metadata. What we're recommending at this point for customers is if they have eight tape drives or less, they should look at an LTFS-based solution from Oracle. If they have more than eight tape drives, then uh, perhaps SAM QFS is the right solution for them. Either way, Oracle has been developing software that supports self-describing formats for more than two decades. So how does LTFS make a tape self-describing? Basically what it does is it partitions a tape cartridge into two partitions, the metadata partition and the file partition. So all of a file's metadata is in the first partition at the beginning of the tape, the blue metadata partition as shown in this, this diagram, and then all the files uh, follow in the file partition. So what that means is if you have a movie about uh, uh, buttes and canyons and deserts, the index for that will be at the very beginning followed by the file in the file partition. And then if you add a movie later on about penguins, uh, the or any other file for that matter, the index will follow, for that file, will follow index one, and then the file, file two, the penguin movie, will follow file one on the tape. Now that's a little bit different than how uh, a tar formatted tape works where there isn't a strict partition of the tape uh, it just is written sequentially where you see index file index file index file Now there's nothing wrong with that per se because uh, it is again a self-describing format the, the one downside of it is is that it's difficult to access uh, what is on the tape quickly with an LTFS formatted tape you can read the metadata partition and immediately know your entire uh, file contents on that tape, whereas if you had a tar formatted tape, you would have to read the entire tape before you really knew what was on there. So again, as I said, LTFS lowers, lowers your storage TCO. How it does that is by eliminating the backup or archive application from a user's environment. Uh, a backup or archive applications are, are really not required to access files if you use a self-describing format. Uh, the way an LTFS cartridge uh, or L, uh, looks like is the drive simply looks like uh, another shared drive or thumb drive in your computer. Just be like if you put a memory stick into your laptop. Uh, it's the same thing as what a drive would look like, and you could access it from there. An LTFS library edition expands that, so instead of just one drive looking like a memory stick, you see a whole uh, library of tape cartridges that are, are opened up to you uh, simply without uh, the need for a backup or archive application. You can also lower your data and transfer costs uh, and DR costs. LTFS is a really big uh, uh, motivator for customers who require data transportability. Uh, you can see from this graphic, you know, obviously uh, storage has different costs to it, um, but there's also a different level of difficulty in transporting large amounts of data over fiber or flash or disk. Uh, if there's one thing that the, the, the postal service has, it's bandwidth. And so 
it's very easy to drop a tape cartridge in the mail and be able to send five terabytes of data or eight terabytes of data uh, overnight, whereas uh, you can't really do that effectively via fiber and flash and disk storage doesn't really make for a good transportable media because of the uh, reliability issues with disk and the cost issues associated with flash. In fact, IDC has identified tape as really being the most suitable uh, format for physical transportation of large amounts of data. So Oracle has two different LTFS offerings. Uh, there's Oracle Storage Tech LTFS Open Edition and then Library Edition. Open Edition is uh, the single drive version of LTFS. It's available simply as open source software. You can download it for free. We support the T10000 and the LTO platforms. Uh, whereas the Library Edition is available on the eDelivery Cloud. Uh, again, it also supports the T10000 and LTO tape drives, but as the name implies, it allows you to see an entire library as a essentially a big bucket of uh, thumb drives or memory sticks. So it's much easier to ac access large amounts of data without the need for uh, a backup application or other sort of specialized software. So <clears throat> we've talked already about how it, LTFS can lower your storage TCO. It can also simplify your file management. If uh, a, a, dry, a drive or, or cartridges look like a big bucket of thumb drives, you can just drag and drop files from the, li the tape library onto your desktop. Uh, and, and it works with a uh, simple SIFS and POSIX interface. You can also improve file access. Again, there's no need for proprietary applications. You can transport large amounts of data and still access files in the future because it's all self-describing. So how this works, working from, from right to left, if we have our, our cartridges all in an SL3000 library with drives, whether it be LTO or T10000, uh, we manage with library edition, we manage which files are where uh, on our with our LTFS LE application, which sits on a on a server. And uh, via the POSIX SIFS interface, you can see which uh, cartridge, which files are where. Uh, all the cartridges in the library essentially appear as a folder in this giant shared drive, uh, and the user can access folders or cartridges as they please. You can organize um, cartridges into higher level folders if you want. You can, you can do all sorts of things with your corporate security infrastructure uh, to make this a very simple solution for customers to access large amounts of data. So as I said, we do support uh, the T10,000 and LTO uh, uh, tape drive lines. At initial release, we're supporting the SL3000, um, as one would expect. As, uh, as we expand our library edition offerings, we will also be expanding our hardware compatibility for both tape drives and tape libraries. You can download the software uh, for free for, for 30 days. You do need Oracle Linux, and from there you just also need a browser-based user interface. Uh, we can also see there the client operating systems uh, that are supported, uh, Linux and Windows basically. Uh, as I said before, uh, we support SIFs and POSIX, and here there you can see some of the basic specs for the server. So I mentioned briefly a, a, a browser user interface. Uh, what the end user may see is just, uh, as I said, a shared drive with lots of folders that are really cartridges to access data. Uh, we do have an administrative GUI uh, so that the storage administrator can, can manage the data appropriately. Um, that, can give, that, that GUI gives you a capacity overview, it gives you a basic understanding of, of the drive and media that you have in a library and some, some notifications and activity logs, for example, when, when volumes are added into the library or when volumes are ejected or if there are any errors that occur. You can uh, format LTFS tapes. So a T10,000 or LTO tape doesn't come formatted for LTFS. You have to put the partitions on there. Uh, and this application a lot, uh, helps you do that easily with, with just one click of a button. And, and you can also do some, some resource allocation so that you have your uh, hardware set up as uh, need be for your environment. 
So to give you some example of some use cases of where this is applicable, uh, oil and gas is an, is an excellent example. When they're uh, looking for oil deposits, they uh, essentially shoot radar or sonar into the ground looking for, for spots where oil might be. And, and this, these result in very large files. And the easiest thing to do is to put those files on tape, and then you can then ship those those tapes back to a headquarters or research facility for analysis. And you, because you've put this on tape, you already automatically have a, a local backup or an archive backup on file. Another good example of, of where transportability of, of, of files is important is in media and entertainment. So you can, uh, if you're on location shooting a movie or a television show or whatnot, you can record that directly on site to tape uh, and ship that back to a production studio uh, and, and again have that local archive copy. Uh, another common use case that I'm, I'm not showing here in this in this slide uh, is a lot of times movie studios outsource some of their work. For example, there might be uh, a company that specializes in sound effects. And so to send uh, the sound effects company a scene, uh, that can be a very large file. It's easiest to just put that on tape, ship it over to the third party uh, uh, sound effects company who can then load the tape up because they have LTFS as well even if it's just an OneDrive open source open edition version they'll be able to load the tape up see what's on there add in the sound effects record a new file and then ship it back on the same tape and everything works seamlessly you don't have to have uh, both the studio and the third party have the same types of backup applications or the same type of editing software or whatnot the file still works just fine. So that is the end of this section of the introduction of, of LTFS and LTFS Library Edition. Thank you very much.